I fixed it! Can you believe it? I had to unplug my router and my modem and everything and hook them all back up and, and restart them and then everything went on. Yay! I just had to move all the crap away because, you know, I have all my little, my little, you know, things sitting around. But it's working! So, Solomon, I'm not going to be calling you after all because I did it. I'm proud of myself. Here's a few Christmas cards we got today. I got today. I'm going to save that one for last because it's handmade and it's really, really pretty. This one is from a fate. What's her new one? A fate so twisted. Wonder Woman two seven two two nine. She makes some pretty stuff. You need to go to her website, thedaisybug.com. I do believe she makes really pretty things. Um. So thank you, Renee. There's one or two of your little bags I might be ordering. I just I like the one with the skulls. Um, this one is from Gail. Uh, Shalini 0222. Look at the little snowman and doggy watching Santa. Thank you very much, Gail. And this one is from Cool Like That Asian and his um. Sexy cameraman Andre and Cody, the new little Pomeranian. Oh, that's the cutest little dog. I had I love Pomeranians. I fell in love with the Pomeranian breed years ago when one won Best of Show at Westminster when I was like a teenager. And I wanted one so bad. So so bad. And my mom pretty much said, You'll never get one because it has long hair and your dad will never let you have a long haired dog. Now he has a long haired dog. Okay. Well, um, just so happened the next summer I babysat for a lady who was a, a member of the AKC board and she bred and raised Pomeranians. So not only did I watch her child, who at the time was like six or seven months old, <clears throat> I also had to watch her Pomeranians because she had show dogs downstairs that were in big, lo big large kennels. And so I would take them, because, you know, show dogs, small dogs like that, they don't even know how to climb stairs. They never learn. They're just used to the show arena. So I'd go downstairs and carry them upstairs two by two, take them out to the yard, let them run around and play. Um, at that time, she had, like, one of the top ten male studs in the country. Um, his name was Millimores. I'm a wind jammer. We call them jammer. And she had... One dog that she co-owned with a lady in, in North Carolina who was not um, good for shows anymore. She was getting uh, hip dysplasia, and she just wasn't show quality. And she said, would you like to have her? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Her name was Punchy. Little Punch of Pizzazz was her name. And her name was Punchy. And um, I kind of tricked my dad. I said, I'm going to bring her home for a weekend and see how we like her. And she just never went back. I just kept her. She was tiny, like four pounds. She went with me everywhere. She was cute. I love that little dog. Um, okay. I with the Christmas cards. I just had to reminisce for a minute. Um, I have no idea who this card is from. Do you, any of you guys know who that's from? I just don't know. Shannon, the Nerd Fighter 04. Or Nerd Fighter 04. I don't know where I'm gonna put it over there. But she and her lovely family. That's such a cute card. Thank you very much. It'll be going in my scrapbook. And last but not least, this is a homemade, a handmade card. Her name is Color to Sprinkle Girl. Her name's Patty, but look at it. Isn't that pretty? I love the doily behind it. See? Handmade for you by Patty. So thank you very much, Patty. I love the handmade stuff. Love it. I made a comment on one of Tammy's Yo-Yo Max 12's video once that we should have a craft night for the next South Tube. All of us, all, well, I, I'm a wannabe crafter. I'd love to craft if I had somebody to craft with to help me. But to do it on my own, not so much. I would be the kind that likes to craft in groups. Um...
So I think that's all I got. The cat's over here. Whoa. Kitty, say hello. I'm a little bit hyper. Why, you must ask? I just had, okay, I've had three iced mochas since I got off work at 4.30. So in the last three hours, I've had like, I've had some caffeine. I had a coupon for McDonald's. I, rear, I don't, the only reason I go to McDonald's is usually to get uh, sweet tea. But I had a coupon for buy one, my coffee product, get one free. So I got two iced mochas. And I drank them. And then I went and got, for dinner, I went to um, Long John Silver's and got the shrimp scampi that came with uh, vegetables and rice and um, corn. It was really good. And after I ate that, instead of going to get like an ice cream or something from dessert, I'm like, I'm going to go to Starbucks and see what their ice mocha tastes like. So I went there and got an ice mocha. And I have to say I like McDonald's is better. I didn't think I would say that. It surprised me. I mean, Starbucks was okay, but I preferred the taste of McDonald's is better. So yeah, I'm a little hyped on caffeine right now. Man, those ice mochas are good. Every time I see Beth drink an iced latte, I just want to steal the damn thing from her. Give me that. Dang it. Um, tomorrow, Dad and I are going to... He's out tonight. The guys, all the guys that get together and watch football, are watching college football tonight. Apparently the championship game. And they're getting a pony keg of beer. And they're going to play bean bags and probably tell a lot of lies. Bullshit, you know. And he won't be home till late. Food. Just fun. And But tomorrow, Dad and I are going to take a wreath. I think I mentioned this already. Take a wreath to my mom's grave that he bought the other day at the farmer's market. And then um, we're going to cruise over to the casino and get the gift certificates for Christmas presents. I know it's a cheesy gift, but it's something I know that they'll use. You know? Because I enjoy going there. My aunt and uncle don't go on vacations, ever. Because my uncle's in a wheelchair, and they're not traveling tight. My aunt gets lost in a paper bag, so they stay really close. Now, they're farmers, so once in a while, they like to go over to the casino, which is like 20 minutes away from their house, and they'll get a hotel room, and um, they'll stay the night and just have a fun night. And so we're going to get them a gift certificate for the restaurant there, and... A couple gambling chips. And then I'm going to do the same for my grandma because sometimes my grandma goes too. Cause I asked grandma what she wanted for Christmas. She's no damn help. Dad and I are not exchanging gifts because we pretty much buy each other stuff all the time anyway. Um, so we'll go to my mom's grave first because on the way to the casino. Then we'll go to the casino. We're going to backtrack down to the south in the Indiana South of South Bend, I don't know, poor Prairie, Portage, Prairie, Cemetery. I know, we're going to go to his parents, my grandparents' grave, and put a Christmas wreath on their grave. And then, I don't know what we're going to do after that. After that, we're just kind of in wing it mode. More than likely, I'll make him go shopping somewhere. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. This afternoon, I was bored at work. At 3 o'clock, I got all my work done. So from 3 to 4.30, oh, I got my camera out there and filmed some of the decorations around the office. So someday I will put that up. Who knows when. I think tomorrow before we get on the road, I have two videos I've put together. It's random clips I've had on my camera. Clips and pictures. Some were like fall foliage pictures. I mean, this, this is how long they've been in a, that I haven't gone through them. So I have two what I call random camera videos that I might load one of those before I leave tomorrow. And then maybe I'll do the next one on Sunday. And then I'll be all caught up on the footage that I had on my computer, except for Ken's lasagna, which eventually we will put on his... Well, he wants me to put it on my channel because he knows more of you will see it. Um... And apparently he's going to cook some more when he comes. 
he's been talking to this guy where he's been working at. He's been working on a mission. And um, the guy's been giving him some cooking ideas. So he's funny. He's all excited. Uh, hi, Ken. Because I know he's watching this on his phone. Because sometimes his phone will play stuff and sometimes it won't. Um, my coughing is dispersing slowly. Right now, the problem I'm having is it's so dry out. When I, I need to get a humidifier for my room. I really do. I'm going to look some up on the internet and see. But there, this is like a small one. Because um, it's so dry in here that I cough, but it's like a, just a dry cough. It just... Ugh. Yeah. Like at the Legion last night. Oh, the Legion last night. They made this really good peach margarita. Oh, it was good. So good. The first drink I had was a strawberry daiquiri, and that drink was bought for me by my dad's boyfriend's wife, Joni. Bought it for me. She said, Want me to bring you a strawberry daiquiri? And I go to give her money. She goes, No, I'll buy it. And I'm like, No, take somebody. No, I'm going to buy it. And I'm like, Okay. So then later, another friend of ours, Barb, was going up. She goes, I'm going to go get one of those peach margaritas you want one. I said, Yeah, here's some money. She goes, No, I'll get it. I'm like, No, I have money. No, I'll get it. Okay. But that peach margarita was... I could, like, a drink, like, a whole gallon of that stuff. It was awesome. Awesome. They were getting ready to make strawberry banana when I left, but we wanted to come home. Now I'm getting ready to trim my nails because they're getting long and splitting. And check the internet and I babbled way too long sorry but I was in a babbling mood yeah all right and I have people ask me still in PMs and in comments if Ken and I are dating yes Ken and I are dating did you get that <laughs> he is my boyfriend all right, now I'm on a roll. Bye.